coming to you from another wonderful blue sky day down here in southwest Florida. It's about 82 degrees. And if I got a treat for you today, I thought I'd show you a little bit of the puppies we've been talking so much about. This first one I have for you is uh, is Ark. This is Ark. He's a little uh, tri... Uh, what is he? He's a male? <laughs> That's a check there. But anyway, this is Ark anyway. And Ark's about uh, four weeks old now. And uh, he's looking for a lovely home. So if you know of anybody looking for real nice Australian shepherds, Ark says, find me a home. And this one here I have for you is actually Torch. And Torch is another little boy. Uh, it's called a Red Merle. And this is a Red Merle color. And he's got some blue eyes. If you can see his eyes. Let me see if I can show you his eyes. See how cute he is. But anyway, this is Torch and that's Ark. And uh, they're wishing you guys another wonderful, uh, wonderful sunny southwest Florida day because they're going to go play in the yard right now. So anyway, there you go. Got a kind of a neat thing I'm going to start here uh, today. This uh, first photo I have for you here, I thought I'd bring you some daily photos of some really cool homes or some different things that I see. Uh, this is uh, a photo that I call an office with a view. Boy, I'd sure like to have my office sitting there with that view, but I don't know how much I'd work I'd get done with that one. This next photo I have to show for you is I called Cliffside Pool. Now that's a beautiful pool on a cliffside home that's overlooking the water. Really a uh, uh, kind of a classic, uh, classic design there. But uh, boy, wouldn't that be wonderful to sit there and have a hot toddy up by the ridge of that pool? Anyway, well, let's start with today's tour of homes, folks. Uh, this is a great one off of South S 28th Street. It's a three-bedroom, two-bath home, 2,800 square foot. This home was listed at 635,000. It's on the riverfront and has ultimate panoramic views throughout it from most all the rooms. It has three bedrooms, two baths, 2,700 square foot, pool, spa, dock, lift, and a large deck uh, with a captain's walk. There's not much more that you can ask for this price. It's 635,000, which is just unheard of for a, uh, a river uh, front pool um, with the captain's walk and all of that. Now this home actually sold at 562 500 Gives you a little idea. 562 500 bought this home off of Southeast 28th. Uh, pretty nice buy here for a riverfront home, but give you a little idea. Uh, I'm, I'm showing you these next few days over some, a lot of times what homes are sold, but there's also some other homes in here that are listed that are just coming on the market that I'll show you as well. Now this home here did sell. It's off of Southwest 45th. It's a three bedroom, three bath home, 2,600 square foot. It was built in 2006. It was listed for 449. It sold for 429 and it sold in 70 days. Uh, 95% of list to asking price which is right in there to what we're seeing almost every day this is a great Mediterranean golf access home it had a four-car garage pool and spa uh, down in southwest Cape uh, a lot of good things about this home I'm just gonna flip through the pictures pretty quick not really give you a uh, run by run of the features just because it's sold but at least it'll give you a little bit of idea on what uh, you know some of the folks uh, are buying these great homes that we have for sale now this home here uh, is actually a condo. It's on Silver King Boulevard. It's in the same building as the condo that we just sold. Uh, this is the most desirable community in this area at Tarpon Point. I've got 44 new condos in a week. We've already sold eight of these things. They have breathtaking views from the Caloosahatchee River. This one here was listed at $399. was actually bought for $415 because they bought some extras. There's cabanas. There's three-car garages. They all come with two-car garages, but you can upgrade to a three-car garage for an extra $35. 5,000. This one was actually on the ninth floor. It's in unit 902. But just gives you a little idea on these great units. These are the best value anywhere in Southwest Florida for new condos with beautiful views. I've got some in downtown Fort Myers that don't have all the added amenities of the marine and all of that. And then of course some down on Fort Myers Beach for a little bit more money. But in the $415,000 range, that one there was a buy and somebody snagged it. Now this one here, is a great three bedroom, three bath home. It's luxurious and peaceful, uh, an amazing Naples guarded, uh, gate guarded area of Naples Walk. It is single level living, gorgeous private pool right on that lake. It was listed at 434,000 and it sold for 415, so that's 95% of asking price and it sold in 103 days. Uh, got a great community town center here, very nice resort style, uh, 
living and convenience, which has the tennis, the pool, uh, nail and beauty shops right there, activities director, you know, all of that good kind of stuff that a lot of people really like with uh, community living down here in Naples. So that gives you a little idea of another one that sold. Now this one here it's sold as well. This is a 3-2, 2300 square foot home. Uh, great room style. It has a view, 200 foot wide canal with an intersecting canal. Owner financing was uh, being offered with this one at 20% down with a five year balloon, 5% interest. Um, you know, a lot of good things about this home. The asking price was uh, 360. It sold for 342, uh, and it sold in 25 days. So gives you an idea on what uh, you know. 350,000 uh, is going to buy you down here in Southwest 21st of Cape Coral. Now, this one here is in the veranda, which is heading out Palm Beach Boulevard on the other side of the freeway in Fort Myers. Uh, 299 was the asking price. 290 was the sales price. Uh, it sold for 96% of the listing price in 33 days. So, real nice home, had hardwood floors in it, two-car garage, which was extended about four feet, which is just some of the list of the upgrades. Really nice uh, rear view there of the lake. It's right there uh, with the two 18-hole golf courses of the veranda, state-of-the-art fitness center, kayaking, horseback riding, you name it. The veranda has a lot to offer you if you're not looking to be close to the beaches. The veranda is obviously on the other side of the freeway. Now this is a great example of a home in the Cape, Southwest 10th Avenue. It is a golf access pool home and it's right there at where the beginning stages are. This home was built in 82, so it's not a newer home, but as you can see, it's been very well kept care of. It's been very nice updated. It was listed at 309,000 and it sold for 284, so it sold at 92% of the asking price and it sold in 35 days. So it gives you a little idea. Uh, of what you can expect. Uh, virtually you're not going to find any uh, golf access pool homes um, you know that, that don't need a lot of repair or that aren't real old and real outdated for you know anything less than 300. This one was 284 so that's you know that's only 15 off that's pretty darn close. Now this one is uh, on Pine Island. Um, this one also sold. It was on Gilt Avenue. It was asking price was two hundred and thirty-five thousand. It sold for two hundred and thirty thousand, so it sold for ninety-eight percent of asking price. It was built in eighty-two. It's a two-bedroom, two-bath home. Uh, a lot of good things here. It had. Uh, it was situated, you know, on its own private road with nothing but nature on the street. Plenty of room to keep your uh, home storage shed, your fishing poles, and and all of that kind of stuff. It did have views down an intersecting canal, which made this one one of the you know nicer view units, as you can see from one of the top floors right there. So you know, great opportunity here in St. James City to be on the water off of Pine Island. And there's no beaches on Pine Island; it's all mangroves. But if you're a fishing guy, there's no better place to be in the world class fishing grounds of Matt Lachey Payas and Pine Island. I got Mama Dog laying right here. She's out enjoying the backyard with me today while I did my tour, so she's kind of laying right here, kind of getting some time away from the puppies. Anyway, this home here is off of Maco Court. It's a four-bedroom, three-bath home. It was built in 89. It's got a wonderful pool off it. It's right off of McGregor on the way to Sanibel and Fort Myers, Myers Beach, which is an ideal location. It too was built in 89. It was listed for 239. It sold for 230. So it gives you a little idea, you know, that homes. Uh, so this one took 200 days on the market because they had two price reductions. So they started a little bit higher than what the market was going to bear, but they eventually came around and, and priced it where it needed to be. Now, this home here. I wanted to show you the entry level homes now. These are the homes that I used to hear, you know, everybody was picking up at 50 and 60,000 and I still often get emails about. These are those same homes. You notice there's no pool. These are basic Cape Coral homes. This is off of Northwest 15th. Listed at 109200, sold at 109200. It's a 3 bedroom, 2 bath, built in 2006. Uh, it's on a freshwater canal, so it sold for full price and it sold in 12 days. So this is what you can expect right at that $100,000 mark, which is a starting place for freshwater non-pool homes. 
Now this next home is the same thing, uh, except I don't believe this one's on a fresh water. It's off of Southeast 27th entry level home. 108,000 was the asking. It sold for 98,000, so it sold at 90% and it sold in 14 days. So $100,000 now buying you these homes. I've told everybody now for two years that they better get buying if they're looking for rental properties. And, and you can still make positive cash flow out of these, but not like you could, obviously, when they were 60000 Those days are gone. These are the same homes that were selling for $280,000 just a few short years ago, and the prices are heading up that way. This one, all assessments were already paid on it, so you didn't have to assume any pay assessment. Plenty of room there to put a pool in if you wanted to. You know, a lot of great things about that. Again, the entry-level $100,000 mark. And this one here is the least expensive home that has sold in, uh, you know, in the last 48 hours. 98, uh, 89,000, the asking price was 89.9. The sold price was 89.9. It sold for 100% of asking price. It was a three-bedroom, two-bath, built in 2006, about 1,500 square feet. Well, that about wraps up today's tour, folks. I uh, just wanted to continue to show you a few of the homes that have sold so you get a real good idea on what homes are actually selling for. I get a lot of folks that look at, home, look at homes that people are offering and they think that the homes that are selling down here are selling at 70 cents on the dollar. That's not correct. The average right now is about 97% and the average days on market is about 35%. Uh, we were a little bit... Uh, at the Smith Group, we're a little bit higher than those averages for our sellers. So if you want to get your home sold down here, we've sold 100% of every homes that we've listed in the last eight years. So we'd be more than happy to help you out with that. The other thing I wanted to show you before I'm done is to use the public search feature on our map. This is a more intensive search feature. It's open to all our clients and all our visitors to our website at www.livinginswflorida.com. But in order to use that website, you're gonna have to know the geo areas. We have maps like this that we can send you that'll show you all the geo areas. This happens to be Cape Coral. This is Pine Island. This is Sanibel and Captiva down here. This is all Fort Myers, uh, you know, by the FM, stands for Fort Myers. And then, of course, down at the bottom, we have, this is Lehigh out here in the east, and this is Fort Myers Beach, which is Estero Island. But if you plug in these numbers when you're doing the searching under the searching criteria, it'll give you those particular areas. We always get emails from folks asking us to use that system, but they don't know how to search it. You can search it by address, you can search it by zip code, you can search it by city, like say Fort Myers Beach, or you can you can dictate. I mean, you can search it any way you want. It's actually the same system that the uh, the realtors use, except for we add all the REOs, all the foreclosures, and the for sale by owners in our personal one uh, once you contact us and you start working with us directly in our search systems. But that one there is the same one the realtors use, but you will have to know the area maps. We have about 42 of these maps available. Every one of these CC areas or every one of these geo areas you see, I have a PDF of a map of just that area that I'm more than happy to send you. So if you think that's going to help you out, give me a call and let me know. I'd be more than happy to to, uh, to give it to you. Also, just noted, uh, we've just been notified that we may have had a glitch in an internet system, that we may not have, uh, some of the emails that we sent out may not have got delivered. So if you sent us an email in the last, say, month, uh, that you haven't got answered, um, you know, please give us a call. It's always the best thing. We can't answer all the emails anyway, but we've just been told that some of our emails may not have got delivered to you. So first, we apologize for that. Second, we'd love to hear from you. Give us a call, 239-872-7736. Um, just a matter of fact, my wife is on the phone right now to Jurgen, who just called, coming to town, uh, wants to buy a great home. So we'd be more than happy to help you as well, give you world-class service. As you can see by our testimonial page and our other clients, we're more than happy to show you everything you need to know to make sure that you're fully informed and comfortable when it comes to buying your great home down here in Southwest Florida. This is Alan Smith wishing you another wonderful, super sunny Southwest Florida kind of day. Bye-bye now. Oh, by the way, give me a call. Bye-bye.